morning everyone and Ali's singing upstairs. It is day two of Vlogmas and I have just got up. It's about 10 o'clock. I allow myself to lay in one day a week. It's something that I'm supposed to do because otherwise I like beat myself up about the fact that I don't get up. So I am getting up today, and, well, obviously, but later. And I've had a lovely, lovely lay in and waking up and seeing all of the house looking so beautiful and festive. That is the thing that I love about the Balsam Hill trees is that they look just as beautiful without anything on them. Like you could just stick a star on the top of that and it just looks wonderful. But today is the day that we do decorate. Exactly, Lummy. Today is the day that we decorate. I know you are so excited. So I have Carrie coming over and Bolly coming over. Bolly's gonna be staying the night with Carrie. Um, which is lovely. So hopefully I'll get to show you a little bit of Bolly time and also Lumi time as well because they obviously are so lovely and chilled together. But this room is looking lovely. I honestly don't know whether to just, I don't know whether to sell this tree and get one, I say this every year, but get one that actually is the right height for this room. I'm very on the fence about it at the moment because it does look good, it looks fine, but I'm not sure. Anyway. I am gonna get myself up and dressed. I think we're gonna be having something a little bit less festive for dinner tonight. I think we might have a stir fry, something a bit healthier because we've been a bit overindulgent recently and so we're gonna have something healthy but we are going to finish off, I think, the magnum of chocolate block. Well, I know that Carrie and I probably will so we'll see how we get on with that but I am going to transform myself into a festive little pea also a clean one because we need to have a clean and I, I might also pluck my eyebrows because I think they need a pluck. <laughs> it's been a while. So that is what I'm going to do with the start of my day. Oh, look how gorgeous it looks. Good morning beautiful one. What are you doing up here? Hmm? Hmm? Mm, you're nice and warm aren't you sitting on the on the radiator. This is my outfit of the day. I am going full snuggle vise. I've got an intimissimi base layer on and then I've got my shuffle wool, not fleece, it's like a wool um, half zip jumper basically, but it's fully lined so it's really warm because I am gonna go out into the garden because I need to plant my garlic. It's so funny. I bought some garlic, I don't even know if you'd call them seeds, but I can't remember what they said on, on the website, but things to plant and I've left them in their bag on the windowsill and they've started sprouting. <laughs> so I have to get them in the ground really quickly, otherwise uh, I don't know what will happen, but I'm gonna go out there and do that because we have so much garlic in our cooking in this house and we always have like the minced easy garlic so I plan on making my own from the kitchen garden basically. So I'm gonna take you out there with me and get started on that. I've also had two deliveries from Karen Millen. I've got the next edit of Karen Millen sat there as well but I've also got some bits that I just loved basically so I'll be showing you those probably throughout December on my Instagram but I am going to get them hung up as well. Um, I might start sorting out the Christmas decorations before Carrie and Bolly get here. What else do I have to do today? I think that is about it. Oh we also have to obviously drink the wine and decorate the trees. That's that's the whole point of today. <laughs> Excuse me. <gasps> Nice dismount, Lumi. <laughs> Elegant, like an elephant. <laughs> Ali and his baby face are working away in the office. I feel a bit gross because I've not showered this morning. Straight into the office. Yep, no rest for the wicked. How excited on a scale of one to ten are you uh, for the new office? I'm not as excited about that as the dog. So you're excited about the dog? A puppy. You're excited about the dog? Uh, I'm very excited about my office. And you're excited about the dog now? I'm looking forward to having a puppy, yeah. Oh. But I'm more excited about the office because it comes first. Right. Yes, it does come first. That is very, very true. And How excited are you, Lumi? Lumi's ecstatic <laughs> because she's going to have another room that she can sit in because she just sits where I do. She watched me yesterday have a shower and brush my teeth. And sit on the toilet. I didn't want to say that one. Yeah. <laughs> Like your little shadow. She's going to have another room to sit in. A bit, yeah. A bit of a different, um, bit of feng shui for the cat. Yeah. Interiors with Ali Gordon. <laughs> Move your cat. Move your cat around. <laughs> We're just changing your scope because you used to live in a house that only had four rooms. 
as you can see, there are little shoots coming out of my garlic. So I'm gonna put on something warm. I've already put on some of those toasty, uh, what are they called, socks. It's a little bit blustery out there. Actually, it's quite a lot blustery. Oh dear, I got ill the last time I went out when it was blustery. Also, I wanted to let you know um, what we do with our trees, because I'm not sure if everybody does this. It might just be the simplest thing on earth, but um, Ali and I put all of our trees on timers so that they all come on at the same time every day and they go off at the same time in the evening. It just means that we don't have to go around turning all of them off and we have them on during the times when that space is used. So upstairs, we kind of have it all on from about 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, and it will go off when we go to bed at about 10 o'clock. However, the one in the basement, because at the moment we don't use that space so much, it's only on for a small amount of the evening, so it works really well. And it's just, it's just less faff, isn't it? But I've been watching people and I, I've seen that they don't have timers on, and I'm like, oh, you need to have a timer on your tree. This room is looking good and finished. So happy about this, not finished in terms of decoration, but it's all good. Right, let's get out and get this garlic into the beds. But before I do that, I always read up about what that particular plant goes well with in terms of being planted and also uh, like how deep they need to be planted and things like that. So I'm gonna get going with that. So straight onto Gardener's World and it says, uh, they should be spaced 18 centimeters apart and 30 centimeters between the rows and also two centimeters deep. You should average about 17 bulbs, bulbs per three meter row, which is good. Always handy to do that before. I am planting at just the right time. How perfect. So yesterday I had my covers dropped off from Harrod Horticultural. They are uh, who I purchased my beds from and they have sent these out to help me protect the, the plants. So at some point I am going to get Mr. Mill and Gordon to put these over the beds. Let's see how things are getting on. We have lettuce is doing well, we've got some kale coming through, we've got some rocket and we've got some spinach. This salad's looking a little bit sad at the moment, I think. Oh my goodness, look at my broad beans! Oh my goodness, we have broad beans, people! We have broad beans. I think that maybe my cauliflowers are struggling a bit with the wind because it does get very, very windy at this time of year. We've got more, more cauliflowers over here. We've had some cabbage sprouts. They're probably not going to do much, but we'll see what happens with them anyway. And then we've got, yeah got some good stuff coming through. Now these over here are where I planted my tea plants. However, they're not doing so well, but somebody put a really great tip for the mint. If you plant it in one of those plastic pots that's quite big, it'll grow to the size of the pot and it won't take over the whole bed. So I think we're gonna give this a little dig up at some point and really um, put it into a pot. So it can be here because it seems a bit pointless having it elsewhere. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, salvage these ones because this one's not doing too well. Now, I'm trying to think where's best for me to put them. I've got cabbage and cauliflower in here. I think I might pop it in here, you know. I'll do some garlic in here. My husband's just made me a lovely hot chocolate using the hot chocolate from that cake. And I'm going to enjoy it. We've even got some marshmallows in there. Lovely. Hello. Hello. Hi. Can you you are such a good girl helping. You're such a good girl helping. But you're in the bloody way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you're running off. I see you running. I saw what you did. <laughs> Right, the garlic is in. I've done three rows because those were all of the little sprouts that you could have seen there. Um, I've double checked that it's able to be planted with everything in here and it absolutely is. So this is a good bed. This bed is now almost full. It's got a little spot over there, but very exciting. I'm gonna be able to sell my veg. I'm gonna have so much, lovely. I've just popped over to my neighbor's house to drop off some cat food. When we were trying to put Lumi on new cat food, 
I, we bought like loads of different flavors and she just doesn't like any of them. So we took them over to her cat Buster. But I literally always spend the most amount of time when I'm there and they were like, should we get the champagne? And I was like, no, I can't. I have so much to do. But I wanted to stay and have the champagne. They do the most amazing like grazing evenings and she just pulls stuff out of the bag like you wouldn't believe. Like she'll come out with like caviar and bellinis and I'm just like, I aspire to be it as much of a hostess as you are. But I've just got back and I've got an Amazon delivery. I ordered these Gisela Graham tree toppers just in case, because I, I have realized that I don't have enough tree toppers. So I've ordered these. These are more like a champagne kind of gold. This is quite gold. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot more gold than I thought it was gonna be, but I thought I would just have some backups just in case because I don't have enough. Last year I had a bow on the top of the tree and I really didn't like it. So I'm gonna pop these in the back room. So, house is all ready for decoration. We have a bottle of Moet chilling in the fridge. I brought it up from the bar. Whenever I drink Moet, it takes me back to my wedding because we had Moet the whole day and it was so lovely. Sorry if my lips look a little bit pale. I've got loads of lip balm on. What else? Oh my gosh, I have to tell you. Oh, do you remember this? This was a cleaning, I know I'm losing my mind over a cleaning product. This is Kinfil and basically they do home cleaning products but they're all like natural and i loved the branding a bit and i saw it online and they ended up sending me some to try the bottles are beautiful they come in glass bottles they're completely refillable and i'll show you how they come so this is how your replacement cleaning products come and basically they've sent me their i think it's their number 79 fragrance i think it's called like brune brune something Oh, I can't remember the exact name. I'll link it down below, but this is amazing. Honestly, they have smashed it. They said that they listened to my feedback about how I really liked it to be quite strong, even though it is natural, and they have absolutely nailed it with this. This smells like you are cleaning your home with the most beautiful, almost like diptyque-like fragrance. It is so chic, so sophisticated. This is what the the sort of cleaning industry has been missing something that smells and feels natural but also feels expensive and beautiful this is like cleaning your home with a bespoke fragrance it is wonderful i didn't understand what they meant i thought that they'd sent me two of these vials to add to my uh, bottle but i put one in just to be sure and it is so strong Oh my goodness, this is my favorite, absolute favorite. They've done such a good job, I am so impressed. I've been waiting to tell you about that. I used it the other night and I was like, oh, wow. But yeah, really impressed with that, guys. Love it, absolutely love it. And I love everything about the brand, so I can't wait to see it go from strength to strength. Now, Carrie is on her way over. Um, I've been sorting out some Christmas decorations in here. One of the things that I think I'm gonna do with the tree in the kitchen is introduce some of the more sort of maroon colors from our uh, displays in there. I'm gonna cut these sprigs off and add them to the tree because that's kind of the theme in there. So it's all gonna be really natural and I just happen to have these old, these are like faux hydrangeas, just lying around in one of the guest bedrooms. So I thought this will be a really good use for them and it will tie it into the theme that is currently in that room. Um, I also managed to save some dried thistles from one of my number five blooms bunches. And I don't know whether they'll work. I'm gonna see how it goes. They might just work as beautiful decorations, but we shall see. I tried looking for like thistle decorations and they didn't really have them. So I'm gonna try and make my own and see how it goes, but it might not go well. But these, however, I think are gonna work really well. Bolly, you go to your bed. You got a toy. The Tupperware is your favorite toy. And that. Ready? Yeah, he's got his vlogmas bow tie on. You are such a good boy. He doesn't care. Very excited whilst choking himself on the Tupperware. Welcome to the welcome to vlogmas, Carrie Grayson. Cheers. Cheers. We have extra extra alfalfa sprouts on order. I mean, <laughs> I wasn't going to dress up for the occasion. <laughs> So we are in here. So what I thought we could do was start by putting the pine cones on the, the tree in the kitchen. We'll start with the, the, the kitchen tree and we'll get cracking, yeah? And we'll, get, we'll work from there. Yes, miss. Go. Let's do this. <laughs> Vamos. 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 Where's the pine cones? Uh, good question. <laughs> no, they are in there. They are in there. I'll grab them. Okay. 
Yeah, so I think we'll get the pine cones on first. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, isn't it nice? She done, did the thing. Is that Nicola? Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. I love how it's like. It's just rough, it's not tween. Yeah. So. I'll pass. These two 
are currently having a sniff. Hello. Carrie is making dinner and we are finishing off the design. So we've gone for zero burlap ribbon. We've gone for burlap bows instead. Ali is popping the star on top. So we've gone rustic, but a little bit traditional. So we've got some pheasant feathers in here, burlap ribbon bows, dried oranges, little birdies. We've got some red hydrangeas, a little bit of glitz with these baubles. And I think that we are pretty much done, but it's looking lovely. Ollie's got his bow tie on. So I honestly thought that maybe I'd made a mistake with the, the dried oranges, but I think with these red tones, it makes it feel traditional, but not... We're taking traditional elements, but making it a little bit more modern, I think, and a little bit more rustic, and I like it. Oh, it looks so nice. On to tree number two, and I'm just moving all of the bauble boxes. We're kind of freestyling it. Usually I've planned everything, but I'm freestyling it this year, and I'm really, really happy with how it's turning out. This one looks, I feel like the orange shows up a lot brighter. I'm gonna show you in the morning because it isn't, it isn't that bright in person, I promise. And actually it really ties everything in together. But on this camera, it's a lot brighter. It's beautiful. Okay, tree number two is done. And I am running out of battery. Bolly has his toy with him. <laughs> and we are on to tree number three. That rhymes. Well done, Bolly Moo. I think we've established that some of my baubles are missing. I think Mr. Mill and Gordon didn't get all of the red ones down, but it doesn't matter. So we're going for a different style of burlap. So basically, we're doing different burlap styles with each tree. So Carrie's currently threading round on the middle tree. And it's looking good. Yeah, that texture looks lovely. We'll wait for her to come and rearrange the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know what? At the moment, the only bit I'm looking at is that top bit that just needs to go up a little bit, but that's it. Doing a great job, smashing it. And I like the way that you're doing it in front of the lights so that the lights shine through the burlap. It looks lovely. Really like it, Carrie. That looks really good. Nice. Really nice. What are you thinking? I like that you've got three different styles that yeah. you're combining all in. Of all of the burlap. So you're going for the darker ones. Yeah, we don't have any lighter ones. And I think that because it's a frosted tree. Which one's mine? This one? No, that's mine. Look, you can see the hoovering. You know they've broken something in the hoovering. You are the puppy. You are the 
it's not the end of them all. You are so sweet and so fluffy. You are the fluffiest of them all. <coughs> no. No, Bali Moo. Bali Moo. I don't want to kiss you. <laughs> but he wants to kiss you, Auntie yeah. Lydia. I keep touching your willy. <laughs> I have to get used to having a boy. Yeah, you do. Because you have a little willy, little willy. <laughs> oh, you got a little one, Sepia. You like that? You could have a little one. I've got to tie mine. Can you join mine, Mummy? Does Pina send the, the instructions? Well, I know how to do it because I do my own. Right, work. okay. This is going in this video. No. Comment below if you want Carrie to tone my hair. Do not make me do this. Make her do it. I'm I'll do, do it. my own, but I'm happy if my hair turns blue because I'm not my a hair, My hair can't turn blue because it's not blonde. It's literally, she was like, put this bit on the front for um, however many minutes and then put this bit on the rest of it for however many minutes. It would be like that time before your first ever press trip. And we had to yeah. dye your hair in my yeah. bathroom at my first yeah. ever flat. Exactly, you used to dye my and hair. We <laughs> and we just went wrong. Oh, and we had to go to Tesco's at Tesco Buckingham at midnight. And we were on the phone to my cousin, who's the hairdresser, being like, how do we come to this? <laughs> no, <laughs> they're all nice and no, easy. No, 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 it wasn't us that did it wrong. I was really red after going to the hairdressers. Yeah, but we had to and try and sort it. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Before you went to... Tenerife or Western Jordan? Yeah, it's not, no, it's um, Milan. No, uh, Ferenz. Ferenz. Just the or something. Yeah. It doesn't bother me that it's a um, decoration, but. Right. Yeah. That's what he's saying. Um, but yeah, you had to tone my hair because it went red. Yeah, but then because it was such dark dye, it stained my bathroom tiles. Yeah. Like that, do you remember? Yeah. So anyway, I've got the stuff and this peanut has sent the directions through, so I think you should do my hair, because the only problem is, is I can't, you know when it's like easy to do yourself? Mm -hmm. It's not easy to do yourself. But that's what worries me, because like, we, we all know that I'm, oh, oh, I hope we're going to just once. These are all the other ones as well. Just a little bit of this, I think it, 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 it can take. Mm -hmm. Although we've got these, we've got these ones as well, but these are too wide. like a different shape. Yeah. Yeah. What about the bolly? Can we hang a bolly on the tree? And this one? Good morning everyone. We are absolutely not supposed to be uh, crossing over two days with the vlogmases, but we are today. But, whoa. <laughs> Firstly, I wanted to show you not what I look like in the morning, but what my trees look like in the morning. I have showered and I've just put on lots of body cream, but I wanted to show you what the trees look like in the daytime because I think it's completely different. And to give you a bit of an update, I've had a complete change of style. We, we did the tree in the kitchen first and it has come out so perfectly. I'm so happy with it. And it's like, I'm finally finding my own kind of style with these things. And I'm, I'm just, yeah, really happy. So this is the first tree. I know I would have shown you little bits of it last night, but we've got the pheasant feathers, the burlap ribbons. Uh, we've also got the dried oranges, which I really didn't think I would get use out of. And I'm so happy with how they look. The star at the top, I think I'm gonna have to change because first of all, it's silver and there's really not any silver on the tree. There's a lot of like antique mirrored baubles and things like that. Like I love these ones they give a little bit of texture but not being too much and I think I've just seen that uh, Sophie Patterson has done a pheasant themed tree as well in her study and so she's actually got the same pheasants you know the like ones that I got from the Christmas uh, shop the other week she's got the same ones and she's popped one of them at the top of the tree as a tree topper and actually I really liked it so I am going to be sending Mr Millen Gordon up the ladder 
to try and fix that on at some point today. I am devastated at myself that I did not buy more of these baubles. They were very expensive, and I know I always say that about things, but I feel like it's more of a pre-warning that not everyone might want to spend that amount on them. It's not as a gloating thing, it's more just that they were, and it's a statement, but they were, in, in terms of baubles, like the majority of my baubles cost like a pound and I get them from the range because they're like filler baubles and then I get ornaments but these ones I just absolutely fell in love with and so I wish I'd kind of got more of them but anyway there is going to be some more additions to this I have ordered more of these I just think these are absolutely gorgeous these are Gisela Graham I think I got them last year at Frost's that's it I got only like three or four of these from Frost's and I found a huge huge pack of clear glass like icicles so I've bought a few of those packs because I think that I'm going to use them more and, and really pack out the tree. I think I'm also going to be adding some like clusters of cinnamon sticks as well. I think I've got a packet of them in the cupboard. I bought them ages ago for tablescapes and I think I'm going to um, tie a couple of cinnamon sticks together and then tie them to the tree because I think they always look really lovely and it adds a little bit of scent to the tree even though I've got my scent sticks in the tree already and it fills the room so well um, I'm going to do that as well so you're going to see me kind of adding to these trees a little bit more and I quite like that that it's not like a finished thing and it's something that, that I'm working on as we go but it is looking so wonderful and, and Ali and Carrie were literally like this is my favorite tree and it's honestly like my favorite tree as well and then we went into this one and I wanted to do something different with the burlap in here and again we've gone really quite minimal you can see a lot of the tree through whereas usually you can't actually really see the tree but like I said trying something different this year but we've got a lot of pine cones and again we've got the oranges on here and some more warmer toned baubles I've used obviously my wool baubles and things like that and then we did a different burlap style. There we go, you can see that a little bit better now in the window. But um, I'm gonna add more of the, what's it called, the icicle styles here as well, because I think that they bring that more festive glow to a tree without being too sparkly. I've got a little bit of sparkle on here, but I have also offset it with these more rustic details in here as well. You, mate, are going on the tree, all right? But we've got another Gisela Graham one, the one that I got from Amazon up here, and that works really well because it's more of a champagne gold, so that works well. We've obviously got my little potted foliage from Number Five Blooms up here as well, which look really nice. Also alongside my little, whatchamacallits, whatever they're called. And then finally out here, I took the oranges off this tree. This is basically Carrie's work. Carrie kind of took the lead with this, and I've never really done that with her before, but she kind of, Put her, I think she enjoyed it more this year because she likes the style more, this more natural style. And um, so she designed the burlap design on this one where she's wrapped it round, which I really like as well. And again, more natural baubles, little bit of glitz here and there with these ones, but I did end up taking the oranges off because it was a bit jarring on this one. I think it didn't quite work, but top effort. And again, I'll be adding some more of those crystal ones. I've also ordered some more burlap bows because we didn't actually get the downstairs tree done we were having so much fun that we just got to a point where we we're like Do you know what we've done three trees we've had a lovely time let's enjoy ourselves now so we played pool downstairs and it was really nice to just enjoy ourselves if you know what i mean because obviously it's nice that we've, we're able to have this little like bubble that we've got because I think it would be, I think it's such a good thing to do because it means that you've still got that social aspect of things. And so we, we played pool downstairs and it was just really fun, but I've left that tree and I think I'm gonna decorate it in another vlog and show you. And I can like talk you through it because when I'm having fun and doing it with Carrie, I don't really talk you through it. So I think I'll do that when more of the decorations arrive, which is good. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm not sure yet. I think um, Nicola and I are gonna do something with the stairs as well. I'm gonna have my weekly bouquet in the same style as the table, the wreath on the, the centerpiece, that's it. That's what it's called. Yeah, I'm gonna have my flowers the same style as my centerpieces in there. So we're really threading this more rustic feel through the house so that will go there and then obviously we have garlands well we may do garlands for for the staircases which will work really nicely as well so at the moment that's where we're at but i think this is like i said going to be something that i continue working at and doing more to um i'm going to be posting pictures on the home account of the trees and on my personal account so make sure that you do head over there and check them out because 
it's so interesting seeing like the difference and seeing me like each year find my style a little bit more because I did my trees with Sarah Coates steak the first year and she just has the most beautiful glamorous style and so I've like followed a lot of the things that I've learned from her but also now taking it in my own direction with a lot more of like a rustic feel which is lovely but anyway I'm not going to chew your ear off anymore I've got to get on with vlogging today and um, hopefully when you see me in my vlog I will look a little bit better than this because I am going to well I'm not actually not putting makeup on today so <laughs> but I will see you in my next vlog I hope you enjoyed day two and yeah I will see you see you tomorrow